shape you're hearing. Oh, sorry, I didn't didn't hear you come up. Uh, welcome back, uh, Tony here again, one of the naturalists at Lake Metro Parks. Today, I am in Arcola Creek Estuary, all the way up in the far northeast corner of Lake County in Madison Township. Arcola Creek Estuary in this whole area actually has a really cool history going back to the early 1800s. Uh, just upstream from here where Dock Road and Route 20 intersect was the home of the Arcole Ironworks, one of the largest ironworks in the state of Ohio. And then down here at the mouth of the creek was the home of a major shipbuilding industry. Now by the mid 1800s, both of those industries had moved out uh, and the surrounding land was taken up by farmland and nurseries, both of which are still pretty prevalent today in this area. Uh, but I want to talk about the creek itself. Arcola Creek Estuary is one of only two natural estuaries left on the southern shores of Lake Erie. Uh, that sounds pretty cool, right? But what exactly is an estuary? Basically, an estuary is a semi-enclosed area near the mouth of a river or a stream where the water from that stream mixes with the water from whatever body of water is flowing into lake, sometimes an ocean. Uh, in this case, the water from Lake Erie actually flows up into Arcola Creek, mixes with the water of the stream itself, uh, and we have features of both ecosystems located right here in the estuary. Now, behind me you can see this beautiful huge wetland area we have um, and you might be thinking well how does such a large wetland come from a tiny little creek our Kola Creek is a pretty small pretty narrow body of water well down at the mouth of the creek where it flows into Lake Erie it actually cuts through the sandy beach of the of the lake right there and depending on the the currents and the waves of the lake itself Sometimes it shifts that sand over and blocks off flow from the creek. It actually closes the mouth of the creek. Uh, what that does is over time, the water's still flowing down, but it fills up. It sort of floods the lower end of the creek. And as that happens, a lot of the plants that were there, they start to die off because they can't take up, take uh, too much water. And then new plants start to grow in plants like what you're seeing out here that thrive in that sort of habitat. So you end up with this beautiful wetland area. Now it is middle of spring migration right now and estuaries like this are great spots for migrating birds. In fact, uh, not only are you going to find things like herons and uh, rails and waterfowl here, typical wa uh, wetland birds, but you'll also find plenty of flycatchers, sparrows, warblers. You could see any number of the 37 warbler species that pass through Ohio uh, annually on their way to their breeding grounds. In all, 77 different species of bird have been recorded here at Arcola Creek Park. Uh, but it's not just migration. Summertime sees a lot of nesting birds, uh, yellow warblers, willow flycatchers, common gallinules, all of those birds nest here in Arcola Creek Park. Uh, of course, we can't have such a rich diversity of bird life without uh, a good amount of plant life. So there's all sorts of really cool plants here, um, stuff like leafy tussock sedge and American weedgrass, um, just to name a couple. But lastly, I do want to take a, a little shout out to the Cleveland Museum of Natural History, the Nature Conservancy, and the Friends of Arcola Creek. Uh, all of whom Lake Metro Parks works along with uh, to help keep our Kohler Creek Estuary a vibrant, beautiful ecosystem. Um, so if you ever get a chance to make the journey out to the far northeast corner of Lake County, uh, you should come and check out what it has to offer. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to get back to birding. 